nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling transmission. If we wish to make it louder, we will bring up the volume. If we wish to make it softer, we will tune it to a whisper. We will control the horizontal. We will control the vertical. We can roll the image. Make it flutter. We can change the focus to a soft blur. Or sharpen it to crystal clarity. For the next hour, sit quietly and we will control all that you see and hear. We repeat, there is nothing wrong with your television set. You are about to participate in a great adventure. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to the outer limits. Well, good morning. Welcome to the show, everybody. CCTV, Celestial Watchers. Today I'm bringing you Doug's Files, okay? So, here we go. Um, I'm over here, warning. Let me say, if this is going to disturb you real highly, you might want to leave, because it's going to disturb me highly. And I watch this stuff all the time, so. Let me show you down here in the bottom, a little preview. Pre-selected the best cherry-picked pieces for four months from Doug, maybe a little bit longer than four months. That's what I'm going to show you. We're going to go through them pretty quick. So pay attention. There's planets. There's everything. Here we go. What I did was I pre-selected this and cut, cut cropping. And some pictures I'm just going to show you. This one has got like a really trippy swirl. I showed you this picture. I started out with this last month and um, I'm hoping that, you know, it's all good. So, um, as we go here, guys, check it out. Okay, now, I, I wasn't recording just the beginning of that, because I did some pictures. Okay, so now we're in the show. But check out this trippy curled cloud. I showed this at the end of the last time I showed Doug's stuff. we got a, a ship right here, for sure. It's, it's definitely a big one. Okay, I'm going to move along because I did the priest stuff. Some stuff I'm going to show you. The lion has roared. Who will not stay silent? Who will not prophesy the Lord God Almighty? Who can't speak? Who cannot fear God? Anyways, Doug's seeing all kinds. That's a little swirl cloud. I got a little object there. Um, and I'm not going to get scientific on you unless I know it. But otherwise, I'm just showing you Doug's skies. Doug. Hope you're in the chat. Anyway, this is last month, so I just wanted to start out with that. And I came up with this filter. You know how Doug gives me these pictures of the sun with the red planets. I said, i got to come up with a filter. Let me show you what I got here. I, I called it the Doug Wow Wow filter. I know, that's insane, right? But watch this. It's the Doug Wow Wow filter I created. If you see here, i got a few. i Doug Wow and Doug Weird. And Doug Wow's good. But watch the Doug Wow Wow. Bam, it's cussed that right into that planet. There's a V-shape in that planet. Let me show you the next picture I already did. Okay, I'm going to put the dead wow in there. Let's see. There's 155 pictures in here, guys. The dead wow wow. Okay, see, so I can't see it, right? So all I'm going to do is just crop a little bit. Let's see if they'll let me see it. Some of these I won't. I've already had too much filter on. So in that case, Get out of here. Cancel that. Go back to the beginnings. Anyhow, all the way back. That's what we saw with that 
which I, I was calling that Ah Tzu last month. Here's another one. The little screen looking stuff is actually Doug taking pictures with his phone from a monitor that has these cameras. These are uh, 1080p cameras, but the sun's so bright that there's a lot of gamma stuff on it. So when I get a hold of it, I try to bring it back out. But you've got a couple things here that are just tripping looking. You've got this planet, and like I say, I'm using a Doug Wow filter. So I'm just going to use all I did a Doug Wow Wow filter on. I want to start to show out with the best looking red planet Welcome I can possibly to show you. AM Some of these you have seen before, but most of these are brands making new uh, pictures. I'm going through them quick because I have a lot of them. You can see on the bottom a little preview, right? You could be looking ahead. But this is real, and this is what was over his sun, or and that was R2 maybe, I don't know. This one I thought was R2, for sure. These are different, a lot of these are different pictures from different time periods. He's been sending me pictures for two years at least. Now here's a picture without the Doug Wild effect. This is the Doug Wild Wild filter over here. Boom. I want to see that more, so let's see if the crop will let me go up. Nope. That's as far as it'll let me go up. But I can return that back. Let me see here. Cancel that. I'm going to turn that back to the original. So the original didn't give you much on top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it down. Okay, lock it in. Then I'll put the Doug Wow Wow on there. See so what happens. And that's what you get, guys. That is a planet up there, or a really good simulation of one. I like it. Okay, let's just go through some of these. Now, these I haven't done the big well. well. I kind of discovered this as I was pre-filtering some of these, but let's just turn it on there just to fun, just see what happens. I don't like it. <laughs> Anyways, this is some stuff. Um, we're looking uh, to the left there. It's more of a southwest and to the right as always northwest. So he, he has stuff going on at different levels. He sent me some disturbing pictures of some faces. Look at this, Doug. It's that red planet, man. I put the Doug Wawa on there, so what happens? It just gets too freaky. Yeah, I don't like it. It's made for only that one certain, uh, those certain types of pictures. Okay, but, but this is, you know, the best I could filter it. This is towards the, towards the uh, west, northwest. Um, this is a night shot. Sun's already going down here. But I don't know if you guys can see that. It's pretty clear. Let's see. Let's just see. Give me a green pencil. A yellow pencil. I don't know. I can see it pretty clear now. We can see it, Doug. See that? It's the way the way Doug does his cameras, you know, it's a little different, but um, interesting. Let's see what else we could do to that. Can't do nothing when I have the pencil on. So, let's see if we can make this show about a half an hour without wasting no time. How's it by doing this one? I have a UFO, UFO thing caught. I can't do anything with it with the filters and the blackout. Let's try. Let's do the DAs. You got two of them. You got a black orb and you got this triangle thing. You DAs it down. Auto correct the color. Take some of that noise out. There you go. Yeah, bring the noise back. And if I sharpen it, make more noise. Good one, Doug. Okay, let's hit the next picture. Same thing. Pretty clear. Yeah, he was calling me. Oh, oh my God! Now, some some pictures, Doug, I couldn't get. Like this one, clearly, you can see over here. They call it. Like you can see a planet over here coming in. A planet here. And this right here could just be debris, or that could be the Texas cube. I don't know. I'm not sure on that, but. You can see right here a huge planet, like right there, guys. These things are stacked up like cordwood. Come on. Crazy, right? Let me check on my recording.
I'm using Audacity, trying to get the best quality I can get. Okay, I see we're doing good. Let's go back. A little more long. I got six minutes in. Now, some things I'm not going to talk about, that right there, you can see it, right? Right there. What you want to do, too, is you want to follow the trail back. So you have the trail stretches out. So you see this. It seems like there's always one coming from the left or right. Um, I don't know about that. But that right there, you know, you're looking at object or something. Just keep on going. I want to get through all this material. Here again is the same sky, but this time you got this crazy black object in the sky over here, right? And then over here you got this fireball, like from the other picture. This is, I think, the same picture. Maybe something right there. guys like my crazy music in the background, and especially for you for the Halloween season, not that I practice Halloween or anything, but right here guys, look at it again, get your eyes used to seeing, they don't want you to think it's all clouds and then dark skies, no, it ain't, it's planets, moving in, moving out, moving in, moving out, here's one that got uh, just a purple out of right before sunset. I'm not trying to give dates on this stuff, it's the last three months. And Doug should be in the chat, and Doug, you could post some stuff, like when I put something up like this, Doug, just say what it was. And if people don't ask, but they don't say nothing. But anyways, a lion has roared, who will not stay silent? Who will not fear the word God Almighty? That's May 27. I think Doug had a problem with dates, so I don't even go by the dates no more on Doug's stuff. But anyways, that was pretty amazing. One time shot. This one, I just wanted you to see those eyes. I'm not going to get too much into it, but let me throw some filter on it. See if I can bring it out. Throw some darkness on it. It'll be like that. Anyways. I thought that was weird. <laughs> Happy Halloween. I just hate Halloween. I just hate Halloween. Such a waste. But you know you do, you know, you don't want to be eating the candy, right? Because it's all offered up to Satan. For the kids and all that, and, you know, the whole manipulation. Oh, hello. Get those kids. And you know, they used to put razor blades in our apples and pens and LSD. So, you know, it was always a sacrifice of sort of a couple kids here and there, you know. They traffic a couple hundred kids, scoop them off the street. Look at this guy's right here. But anyways, uh, kind of make fun of the season. It's very serious. It's kind of a fearful season. Just pray season, you know, like, check that out, find it right there, sign up there, I actually think there's something right there, though. So yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I, I actually do candy, and, you know, just bless the kids, but, just bless those kids, bless those kids, you know, they don't know better, we didn't know better, I don't trick the baby, I'm look at like this, look at this over here, Doug, you didn't see that, did you? Ah, ah, look at that one! Woohoo! See if we can trip that out, just real quick. I didn't see that guy, that's the first time I've seen that one. Nice one. No, I didn't really find it. Stick it down there in the corner. <laughs> so people, this is insane footage. You know, Doug just does his best. He just sits there and he's like, this, oh my god. That stuff's so layered here. I mean, I can't even. Hang on, let me start it over. Look at this. I'm trying to decipher the language here. You got a bigger planet coming out like this. You might have a planet like right here in the background. I don't know. Then I saw this. Ah, they don't even know I caught that. I'll do the close up. I didn't know I caught that. I didn't know I caught that. Beautiful, though. Beautiful. You got one weird dude. <laughs> As you can all see, Doug is kind of a Palladian. Ball a little bit of red around his eyes. That's not makeup, no, that's Doug's real look. He's like, um, been hiding in the cave for years. Years and years. Anyways, Doug, great work. Look at that. You didn't think I'd see that, Doug, huh? Doug was giving up on the guys. He thought I was never going to show his great work. 
You like that music in the background? It's weird. What's up, Sarah? See you right here? We got a 10 minute section. I don't know if that's a square. I don't know if that's a ship. Anyway, it's moving right along. Some stuff I can't explain. You guys can comment. You know, I'm not the expert here. I'm just a guy who knows how to filter really good. I like these pictures. Watch what it turns into. Pretty scary. I love a little crocodile look. Um, <laughs> a pig snout crocodile. Anyways, I don't care about the faces. I do, but they're fun. Let's just keep moving. You guys will see stuff. Some of these are dark, dark. Like up here, I don't know if these are planets. But I'm just going to assume they are since our channel's so weird. Now, here's a nice shot. I like these guys. These are pretty good. Pretty good nice shots. Yeah, look at that. Check that out. <laughs> so I, I think you got a remnant of a planet right there. And the night sky, sun going down. After the fact. I think you might be even looking north. But I don't have to tell you in the chat. I'm not getting into that. It's too complicated. I've got too much work to do here to build it. I think that's a north shot. I don't know. Tell us, Doug. Is that north? I like these pictures. The way the blue and the purple meet. Beautiful. Now, some of these pictures, I didn't do no filtering. Like, this one has got the Doug Wow effect. I wanted the guys to see that. This is another filter I made up. It's called the Doug Wow. Um, I don't know if that's a straight planet. And that's a, that's a, just a giant version of it. I don't know. You know, but it was pretty cool looking. Of the day. He has 226, 627, 714. I mean, Doug, what day is it? Oh my God. Make your mind up. No, I'm just joking. Check it out, folks. Some of this stuff is so filtered, that's what I get if I filter it. Doug, look at this. Your stuff is too dark. Some of it's too dark. That's what I get. But then I, I can bring stuff like this out. Oh, come on. That's Big Striper, right? Yeah. Well, you tell me. So this is like north, this is like west, I think. It's just a crazy amount of stuff going on. See Doug right here, I thought I saved it. It wouldn't save it too dark. And that's because my filters, there's not a lot to work with. I, see, I don't know what these pictures are about. I, I saved them, I thought they went, but apparently, can't pick them up. It's too dark, but here's something. Okay, we can explain some of this, Doug. Okay, I just want to tell you, you got you got something like right there, you know? But there you go. And then what would that be? You know? And then is that there? And then do we have one like farther out? I think so, maybe stacked. But um that could just be an asteroid or um, it doesn't really give a direction where it's coming from. Maybe that one, I don't know. And that could be uh Maybe Gibberu's yellow moon. I don't know. It's, it's some type of thing. It's unexplainable to me. Maybe Doug has some insight on it. Yeah, here's another one. I think I showed this time, this thing on one of my videos because I liked it. But let's go look at some, uh, let's do the Doug Wow. See if it messes it up with it. Helps it. Let's do the Doug Now video. Oh, filter. No, I don't want that one. Let's go back. Filter. You can see the planet right there. You can see that it's a neat object. Man, I'm gonna make that one my uh, Facebook. You know, we got us time in the COVID lockdown. Don't worry, kids. We'll let you go home for supper tonight. Look at that thing. Come on. That's insane. There might even be something behind that. Like, I kind of see something here. Right? And I kind of see something out here. That little cloud action. Okay. And I see this straight line here. And it goes around. So, could this be a planet? Could this be a craft? I don't know. You take all that off. Pull it back. What do you think? I think, personally, come on, you know what I'm going to say. That's a giant spacecraft. Okay, I'm moving on. That's my opinion, Doug. This thing, I believe, is straight up R2. Um, 
I just love this picture, Doug. I don't know, you're one freaky dude. You're sending me stuff this crazy. It's hard to do any kind of uh, filtering on that losing picture. You see down here, it's like a little planet. Little things happen right there. This is definitely not the sun, folks. This is one of the best R2 pictures that I think I saw. Here's another, I did a little trippy on the filter. Um, there's some. R2. R2, right? Agree? Thumbs up. Here's another one. Awesome. Let's see if I could do a Doug Wow. Wow, wow. Here's a Doug Wow Wow filter. Might not work. Oh, wow. Okay. It don't work. But here's a green bell snow. So I got a different filters. Um, you go back to the original. Uh, showing a little auto color, so the yellow and the fiery clouds, like, see that? That's all part of Artu's moon, its own atmosphere, then I, right here, where it says suns, these are filters that I already preset, so if I took that filter off and I went to dehaze, let me show you this, you can remember I filtered this already, so I, sometimes when you save filter, save filter, you start messing it up. But still, pretty good. I was bringing out the true colors. Auto-correct the colors, you know. Either way, I mean, we know that, we know, like, over here is the original. What I'm going to do is just try to really bring out, you know, I could, I could change the white in there. I could change the white on that. Let's say I want to bring that white back up. <laughs> we'll let it out. Okay, so flip back to the um, to the original. Still the same video, same thing, but it just this purple is in there. It's in the sky. This green is in the sky. So it just enhances it. There you go, folks. That's all too. You ask me. Let me put the dead wow on this one too. That's a good filter. I, I caught that last minute before I started filming this. I'm narrating on Audacity because I don't know. I need an I need an audio expert to meet me. <laughs> me and Ken both uh, yeah. The wow wow don't work on that one guys. But I like that one the way it is. It's kinda got a face in there too. Let's just move through a bunch of these that I filtered already. See that face in there? Doug, you knew that face was in there. And I think the technology that the enemy has in the Fallen Angels uh, is one that could, you know, basically try to distract you with the face. But meanwhile, you know, you got this huge planet blazing through. This ain't the sun, this is on too, there's a little something there. Let me check on my, okay, working good, working good. I might start doing that more often. I've had so much problems with narration and sound that I just kind of quit. Hey, that's why I stopped talking. Well, looks like I want to get locked down. I want to get shut down. So as I'm, as I'm making these, as I'm going to the video footage, I'm actually talking in real time, so I'm just line it up and it work fine. Here's another one on R2. I'm kind of stuck on R2 right now. R2's moon. Here's a little stream pictures about two. So let me say, if you've seen this or not, your eyes are open. See that little mound? We get the little eye. Okay. Now here we go. And I think these, the enemy sticks up faces. He projects faces on the cloud. Blue beam technology, you know guys, um, this is probably something coming through. I don't know. You tell me. This one I thought the dove was pretty cool. <laughs> it made a little dove over there. That's how I get it off. Anyway, we got a lot to go through here, guys. Um, here we go again. You can see how the planet and this stuff going on. I just do different filters to give you different effects on it, but this is a dead wild filter, I think. Yeah, it is. That's in July 8th. If you're stuck on seeing something right now, you might not even want to see something right now, current. It might freak you out too much. So this right here, I already knew it was a planet blazing through. Check this out, guys. It's just beautiful. 
Let's plan it. Watch it. Watch it change. Watch it develop. So you can see it. There's the ball right there. You see the base clouds, the bigger clouds coming up. Now I don't know which planet it is. You guys, some of this could be out too right there. I'm not sure how it's going to line up. It, it changes a lot. It's hard to line it up. Um, you see more and more of the round edge of the planet moving through. Come on. Don't be so old you can't see. Lose your Peter Pan effect. You had an imagination at one time. Let me help your imagination. Alright, so you can call me crazy. Actually, I'm drawing that pretty good. That's what you're looking at. Wow, that's the same looking dog. My wife just brought me food. I'll be back. 